In this video, we will take a look at the deletion operation in the linked list, specifically deleting at the beginning of a linked list. So I will give an example on one side and write the code on the other. So let's start by defining the function. I'm naming my function delete beg or delete beginning. I will have no input parameters and I'm going to return the node at which I will delete. So let's look at the different cases we can come across. The first case is if the list is empty. So when the list is empty, we don't have any element to delete. In such a case, we don't want to continue with our function and we would like to return. So let's write the code for that condition. If start is equal to null, we say that the list is empty. In such a case, we want to return from the function. I am returning null because I have defined the return type of this function as type node. And since I cannot find any node to delete, I am going to return a null value. With that, we have seen our first case when we try to delete from the beginning. The second case is we are deleting the last element. That is, there is only one element remaining. In such a case, let us take this as an example. This is the single node which is remaining. This is equal to the start and this is also equal to the end. When we want to delete this last element, then we need to reset both the start and the end pointers back to null since our list is becoming empty once again. So let's write this. If start is equal to end, in such a case, the first thing I must do is I need to store the element which I want to delete in a variable, say x. So I'm going to create a node x and then I will store the node which I want to delete in this variable. After this, I will reset the start and end pointers. After we do this, we can return that node which we wanted to delete. With this, we have taken care of the second case as well. Now we come to the third case. When we delete from the beginning of a list which is longer than one element. So let me write that. So the list is more than one element. Let me give an example. So in this case, I want to delete the first node. I want to delete the starting node. So the first thing I must do is, since I want to delete the starting node, I will store this node in a variable, say y.
So I'm going to store the starting node in a variable y. After I do this, I need to delete this node. What do I mean by that? The first thing I need to do is I need to set this start to the new node which I want to consider as start. So I'm going to remove start from here and I'm going to make this equal to start. So how I'll do that is start is equal to start.next. So now I have reset my start. Now in this node I don't want my starting node to point to anything in its previous address. That means I don't want any node to precede start. So I will remove the value which is now at the previous of my start and replace it with null. So once I do that, when we look at the list from start to end, we will receive or we will attain a list which looks like this. So in this case we have successfully deleted the beginning node of the list. So now we can return the element or the node which we have deleted. We can return y and with this we come to the end of our function.